Hey. Okay. So, I have discussed this before in a previous video log, but I'm going to discuss it again because it keeps on coming up again and again and again and again. I'm going to discuss scammers. Okay, so let's start with don't send money to people that you've never met. Agree? I think the vast majority of you will agree with me. Don't send money to people that you've never met. If you haven't done, if you haven't seen them on Skype, you haven't, well, okay, preferably I would say if you're going to send money to somebody, the very least, have met them online through and done like a video Skype session together. For whatever reason, I want to sit there and say, oh, my camera is not working or I don't have a camera, uh, then yeah, I'd probably not send money to them if they want to sit there and say, oh, I can't talk to you on the phone because my phone's broken probably wouldn't send money to them because they're probably a scammer. They're going to tell you things like this. Like, oh, I need money to help my family out. I need money to help me get out of this war-ravaged town, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but I can't do a Skype chat with you or a Skype video chat with you or chat with you through Snapchat, which they do have video capabilities on there, you can do a video chat on there. Um, I can't call you because my cell phone's broken, or all these various excuses that they give, scammers will give people to not actually have like verbal or visual communication with them. Uh, that's like a sign that they're a scammer, that they're trying to steal money from you. Um, another really helpful thing would be to take the photos that you see and run them through, I think it's called 10 um, or even Google Images if you look up uh, reverse image search, you can plug in that photo that they've sent you and it'll show you if that photo has been used um, with another scam or if it's a porn girl like me. Uh, you just have to do your research and people don't realize that and they get so caught up and, like infatuated with these with these assholes that are scamming them and then what ends up happening is they find out and they come on my Twitter or they email me or whatnot and start either a acute like saying like oh I've been scammed what can you do to help me well nothing um, or B they start actually accusing me of scamming them which boggles my mind. Absolutely boggles my mind. Like, I don't know. I would just think if I were sitting there scamming people, do you think I'd be living, I would be living in like a mansion right now. I'd have like a bunch of awesome cars. I'd be living in a mansion. Like, no, I don't. <laughs> I mean, I like where I live, actually. I have a choice of moving, but I don't move because I'm actually really comfortable here. Anyways, that's besides the point. I feel like anybody that knows me or that's been a fan of me would realize that I would never scam anybody. Um, and I've made that really clear. Again, I've talked about this and probably other, I know I have one de dedicated video log to it, but I'm sure I've talked about it in other video logs. I'm just tired of people contacting me and telling me that they've been scammed. It doesn't make me feel good at all because ultimately they're stealing from me as well. They've stolen my photos that I 
paid for to steal from other people, from naive, gullible people, and it's just, it's a really shitty situation all around. Um, I don't condone it, obviously, and it doesn't, uh, it's, it's upsetting, it's absolutely upsetting. It gets to the point when people contact you so often about being scammed that you're just like, like I've stopped responding to people on Twitter, or it, if I do, it's really sporadic because I'm so tired of going on my Twitter and seeing people tweeting me saying, oh, I've been scammed by somebody using your photos. That doesn't really make me want to go on Twitter and like actually communicate with people. It really doesn't. It's just kind of a bummer in general. Like, oh, okay, sorry. There isn't anything that I can do about it. I try to tell people this. I can't keep people from stealing my photos. I can't stop that. Once it's out on the internet, it's out on the internet. People can download those photos and they can do whatever the hell they want to with them. I can't stop that. Um, I had somebody, I went on my Twitter today and saw somebody posted this photo of me and I think it was by somebody that was scamming them. I don't know if he that scammer sent it to the scammy. I don't know if that's what they're called. But I was just looking at it and I'm like, dude, I really hope you didn't fall for that scam because it's so clear that this is a photoshopped picture. It's so clear. If you look at it, you like zoom in just a little bit, you can see that the hair has been photoshopped. My face has been put onto somebody else's body. It was clearly photoshopped, just like a lot of these other pictures. You know, the, the signs that are held out saying in really bad English that this is really me. Yeah, no, if you look at that photo and you just take like a minute or two to really think about it, nobody has writing that is that perfect. Seriously. The writing that I've seen, I'm like, wow, you can see, you can so clearly tell that that was Photoshop. Somebody used the, the text button and said, this is really me. And it's in like Comic Sans or whatever freaking cutesy ass text, uh, I can't even think of what it's called right now. It, it's, it's just, I don't know, it's mind boggling to me. It really is. Like, it's, and maybe it's because I've been exposed to it so much because of people contacting me that I can tell when it's a scam. Maybe people are just so lonely that they're like easy prey for it, but I don't, I don't know. I hope people would, I just wish it would stop. I really do. I just, I just wish that it would stop. And, yeah. So, to summarize, don't feed the scammers. <laughs> if you haven't met them, if you haven't done a video chat with them, if you haven't actually seen them in person, don't send people money that you don't know. And there's nothing that I can do about my photos being stolen. Absolutely nothing. So. Sorry that it happens to some of you. Um, I wish it would stop. And yep, that's that. So, anywho, I'm gonna get going um, after my tirade about scamping. <sighs> okay. Okay.